We're about to browse the shops a little bit for some honeymoon outfits. Hopefully we get to find some things. I haven't been shopping, like actual store shopping in a little while. I've just been online shopping. I ordered a couple of berets, some coats, some dresses. I'm excited to share that with you soon as well. But I wanted to just get organized for the honeymoon because we actually leave for honeymoon straight after the wedding. We have like one day to get the final touches and the final last few things before we zip up our luggage and head off to Europe. One of the most exciting destinations for me personally is Paris. So I wanted to get my best Jess in Paris outfits ready. So that's what we're going to do today. And then after shopping, we are doing a tasting with our wedding venue. And I'll bring you along for that as well. Love it, love it. <laughs> I will show you Livy's what I bought when we're home. We are at the tasting. Very, very exciting. Okay, so on the menu, we have home style beef stew. So by the way, we are doing like very homey, ne? Yeah. like homey. Um, one of the things that we really want on the menu that kind of honors Brain's grand because she made the best pampoon cookies mm -hmm. like ever nearly them yeah so that's the one thing we really want so we're gonna try that so home style beef stew slow roasted deboned pork with gravy oven baked chicken uh parmesan mashed potatoes that sounds like something you would like savory rice cream baked potato with bacon bits and then so i think we're gonna do the pumpkin fritters I don't know, we'll, we, we, we're we've, we've got an idea, everything. but we want to taste everything to make sure yes. what... And then I really like the idea of the green bean bundles wrapped in bacon. I think it's going to look very <laughs> sleek and aesthetic. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And we've got an idea what we want, but I'm thinking Jace wants to try the things that look the best first. It's aesthetically I love a, pleasing. I love a man that knows me. <laughs> <laughs> Creamed spinach and feta, which I don't think we're, we're, we're going to try it, but I think we'll rather do the green bean bundle. And then we have like a mayo pasta salad, caprese salad, which sounds really bougie. And then roasted butternut, baby spinach and feta salad. And then a no-brainer. A no-brainer for dessert is um creme brulee but they also have <laughs> peppermint crisp tart pavlova with caramel and fruit chocolate pudding with custard or ice cream let's go try it stop talking about it and let's, let's go try it <laughs> let's feast <laughs> oh and we also have like um starter yeah. uh what do you what do you call it like cocktail kind of things yeah Entrees, what? Yeah. No, no. an entree is a main. No. No. <laughs> Livy, you need to shop it up on your fringe, huh? <laughs> <laughs> realized 
we are getting like a little bit of a taste of what the venue does like light wise and we're making mental notes like it is now half past four so the sun is like there and then we can make another note like what the sun does around six or like seven you know oh it looks so pretty sincerely yours but I also wanted to sit down and chat a little bit about our wedding food tasting. I'm ready to head out on another honeymoon shopping Sunday shenanigans. Brent's gonna come with me because Saturdays we spend time with our friends and our family and then obviously during the week Brent works. So yeah, we're going together today. Gonna look for some things for him and then also have a look at some shoes for him for the wedding. And like a bunch of things will bring you along but i wanted to show you the things that we picked up well that i picked up for my outfit for the honeymoon but i wanted to talk about the tasting oh my goodness it was incredible like literally love on a plate and like comfort on a plate you know like food that your grandma would make and you would just leave feeling so satisfied so warm inside and just like love all around so as much as i love like going to events and like having like these fancy plates and you know that kind of scene i feel like our guests and just like the kind of ambience that we we, we didn't want to like kind of create like a stiff ambiance we wanted everyone to go dish up like family style buffet style like have as much as you want and just like good food like good comfort home cooked food so we're excited to decide on the final um items that we are going to have on the menu but what i loved about this little event that bell and blossom hosted was the fact that we could experience the venue as it goes from like daytime to nighttime because we obviously went for a viewing before but it was in the daytime so you could experience like the sun going down around the venue and everything like the lights everywhere and just everything just getting so whimsical and like a fairy tale and that was like oh just it just got me so incredibly excited i made so many notes um about like picture spots and like you know lighting and all of that so yeah i really just made <laughs> use of the whole experience and it was like literally all of the brides and the grooms and some had their um like parents and parents in law there as well to experience it with them and it was just such a nice event for all of the brides and all of the grooms getting married this year at this venue and yeah, it was just so so lovely i really hope that all of our guests are going to enjoy the food i feel like from conversations with people that have gotten married or people that have attended weddings and also from you know experience attending weddings the food and like the party is like the thing that people talk about the most and of course like do whatever makes you happy and it's your wedding at the end of the day but we also want everyone to have fun like we'll have every everyone that we love adore and cherish in one like building so we want everyone to have fun with us so yeah i think food and the music and the entertainment is like probably what i've heard from other people is like the two most talked about things with weddings so let me know your thoughts as well i'm really really excited <laughs> i'm so excited 
like whenever I talk to someone about the wedding they're like so excited about their dress and everyone's so excited to like dress up so I'm just like I I don't feel that much nervous I'm just so excited for this day to come and even more so excited for the honeymoon like you have no idea and I'm gonna like I've shared with you that we're going to Paris but when I saw this, I was like, I have to show you Libby's. This is so perfect. I've been wanting a candle. I got this from Woolies. I've been wanting a candle from this brand for like the longest time. I always look at them. They are just so pretty. Let me show you. It's called Glass House. And I actually had a special at Woolies. So this is what it looks like. It has like a little lid. The scent is very, very subtle. It smells quite clean, but a little bit beachy, a little bit floral, like exactly how you would imagine Marseille to smell. And that is like south of France. Like that is, oh, I'm so excited. But I see now that it doesn't have the writing on the candle. It has it on the box. So the name is Marseille Memoir. And when I saw it, I was like, it is just perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. I need it. Whenever I light this candle, I will think of our first leg of our honeymoon. Like, I think I'm going to light it like the day before we leave just to have that memory association. I don't think I'm going to pack it though, because obviously it's a little bit heavy. But yeah, I'm really excited. Like our first leg of our honeymoon is going to be Marseille. We're going to probably go to I think it, I think you pronounce it as con cans cons <laughs> or like Saint-Tropez like we're doing like south of France vibes for the first bit of our honeymoon like the um room that we booked is just like oh I'm so excited to just experience like France in a little bit of a different way and then heading to Paris so yeah I'm excited about that Livies I obviously got a ton of dresses um but I got the cutest outfit for Paris oh my goodness out of all of the H&M hauls that I've shared with you I am finally working with H&M and since autumn is kind of kicking off I went in stores and I picked out a very Paris outfit oh my goodness ladies i am just so excited i mean look at this ah! so i have this hat i have this little bag this really reminds me of a ysl bag has that same kind of design obviously without the logo the patterned kind of shiny sleek leather look this is just so stunning and like just over the shoulder with a nice big coat and sunnies. Where's my sunnies? The sunnies. Like, are you happy to be in Paris? We. Oui. <laughs> I'm so excited to be there. Oh my goodness. I literally cannot express my excitement. So I have that. And then this is one of their um, main new releases. So I built my outfit, ooh, this is the front, I built my outfit around this stunning like silky, it's like a thick silky material with these cute little pockets, so I'm going to do that with stockings, I got three pairs actually because I wasn't sure um, what I would want, so I got, okay, so I got a couple of pairs like H&M, they're amazing for their stockings. They have so many different kinds. This is the Total Shaping Regular Waist Tights. So it's a little bit sheer, but it's also like it's going to keep you a little bit warm as well. And then I have the leather leggings. And then I have the one with a little bit of a like polka dot vibe going into it. And then I'm going to pair this with this blouse. How cute are these? Oh my goodness. This is just giving Paris. It's giving Paris. It's giving chic. It's giving trendy but elegant. And then I'm going to pair it with a booty. Like there is literally no other way <laughs> to pair it with a sleek, elegant booty. I love this so much. And then obviously... What would Paris be without a stunning, I 
and what would autumn winter be without a stunning stunning coat i mean look at this look at her look at her i'm so excited i'm not going to try this on for you now because i want to head out to the shops before it gets too busy and crowded for today and then i got um some jewelry i just thought i would get this because it has so many options look at this so many options to switch out when i'm in paris luggage for the honeymoon how cute are these suitcases they're by the brand Delcy Paris of course like how Paris is this and my outfit look what I'm wearing Ooh, I'm so excited the brain has the brown on brown so his and hers mine is the brown on white and it is just oh it has the most deluxe interior I just cannot wait to pack with you oh so exciting so it is actually the next day i wore this outfit today and i'm actually boiling right now because it's relatively warmer now than it was this morning this morning was so cold and it just felt so nice to like dress up and just like you know just live my best paris life so yeah this is the outfit i'm gonna share my post to instagram so i'll put the picture over here oh my goodness i'm so excited and i just felt this look all day but i'm like I am boiling. We got a couple of things um, whilst shopping yesterday. I wanted to show you. Okay, so starting off, brains wedding shoes. And let me just say, it took some convincing with these shoes. We went into a couple of places and looked at a couple of pairs. And when I saw these, I was just like, just try them on for me. He obviously gets to choose whatever he wants and has full reign on what he gets to wear and what he likes for the wedding day because it's his day as well. He just wanted plain black shoes that weren't too shiny or too pointy or too trendy or like different. He just wanted elegant black shoes that were comfortable. And when I saw these, I was just like, just try them on and see what they look like. And when he tried them on, he loved them. I could see it on his face. And the comfort with shoes like this, because Brain has quite a wide foot. So like, you know, from like this angle, it, normally it's a little bit tight for him, but this had so much room and like the comfort of it. Because obviously you're, you're going to walk in these shoes and dance in them all night, especially for men. Like I have three pairs of shoes. So I get to like alternate and obviously only wear one pair for a few hours and then the next one and then the next one. But for men, like he only has one pair. We're actually consider considering doing that like sneaker train, but I don't know if that's completely us. Like we'll see, like let me know if you did that because I've seen 
um, brides and grooms change into sneakers, like sneaker hour, like the last hour or two of the wedding. But I'll see, like I'll, I'll still decide. But I mean, look at this, how stunning. It's a little bit different. Um, but not too trendy because that's obviously not what brain likes it has a bit of a folding detail on the toe and especially with his suit so we got him normal suit pants from woolies so stunning not too shiny super fitting super comfortable like they don't need to be altered at all and um so sleek like it's like a slim fit yes it's slim fit but it looks so good on brain, like it looks stunning. But for his suit jacket, he has like a suede. So this shoe is just perfect with the suede jacket. I'll show you the jacket soon. Um, obviously you'll, you'll see it on the wedding day and like all of that, but I'm just so happy that we ticked some things off the list for brain as well. We also got a belt we got a few more things at H&M as well we got him this belt it's a little bit more of a skinnier belt to what he owns already I just feel like a fresh brand new belt that hasn't been worn is just like for the wedding day it's just perfect so we got this one at H&M $3.29 and just has such a sleek design we couldn't find a shirt for him the shirts we tried on at Woolies were just too sheer for my liking I don't know you could kind of see his chain through the shirt and like some of his chest hair like you could see it through the shirt so we're on the hunt for a nice thick ish kind of good quality shirt and then speaking of shirts I didn't ask Brent permission for this I was like do you like this he was like mm. I was like I don't care you are wearing it because every wife has full permission to get her husband a shirt that he doesn't necessarily say yes for on the honeymoon like the honeymoon shirt like this is the honeymoon shirt at least it's not like flowers I think Brenna's kind of lucky because at least this is still like chic and stylish but when I saw it I was just like this in Marseille and me wearing a matching sage because it has like a sage um, little green stripe with the white as well. So I'm going to wear like a matching dress and then he can wear this button up vibe with shorts and oh, it's going to look stunning. I'm so excited. And then I got two more things at H&M. Um, I... I don't know what the weather's gonna be like in Paris, but I'm just I'm just trying to be prepared and I feel like stripes and this kind of vibe is so Paris, like with a little scarf and a beret, kind of suit pants and little ballet flats, cute bag, like oh that is just such a vibe. And then this top, okay, it's inside out now because I tried it on. It's going to be so hard to show you this, but it has, okay, so it's a long sleeve, but this part is cut out. So it has a bit of a boobage vibe, and I was thinking that with a scarf, such a vibe, such a vibe. So I'm so excited about those pieces, and then oh, I got another one from Woolies that I saw, but in a dress version. So it's like a dress, so I'm planning on wearing it with boots and stockings and a skinny belt. This is the dress. So exciting. But that's all I got. And I think that's it for this vlog, ladies. I really hope that you enjoyed coming along. This is only the start. This is only prepping for the honeymoon. We are gonna put some outfits together. We're gonna pack for the honeymoon together. And then you can see all of these outfits in action in Europe. I'm so excited to bring you along, ladies. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye, ladies.